Boeing has done extensive modeling to understand the airflow in the cabin and the dispersion of particles. As part of that, we've done a comparison between the airflow in the airplane compared to an airflow in a stagnant air environment, which is the worst case for aerosol virus transmission, and also uh, a common conference room setting where people are seated around a conference table in a typical building environment. When the coffer uh, coughs towards a breather, uh, a certain number of the particles that they cough will enter the breathing space of the breather. And so we uh, benchmarked that at uh, six feet away, which is the common social standard for distancing, and uh, really uh, modeled it and understood when a coffer coughs, how many of those particles go into the breathing space of the breather. We started with the worst case condition for a coffer and a breather. We did did the same thing in a conference room just to make sure that we were in a real life environment. And then we did extensive modeling on the airplane, airplanes full with gaspers, the, the air vents on or off, um, and uh, with coffers in different positions and breathers in different positions. So as we looked at the particles in the breathing space between a coffer and a breather, uh, we we're finding that based on the airflow dynamics on the airplane, that the number of particles in the breathing space of a, of a breather after someone coughs is the same as uh, someone being either seven feet or over two meters away in a stagnant air environment. 